Hello everyone. My name is Rika. I'm 17 years old. I'm in the tennis team. My favorite subject is math. So let's start my presentation. First of all, I will show you some pictures. This is, uh, this is the Yamanote line. And how, how many people use this train? <laughs> okay. uh, How about this? This is the meter line. And did you take this train today? And okay. <laughs> this is this is the saber line. Have you ever took this train before? <laughs> so this is my local train. It runs through Ikebukuro, Nerima, Tokorozawa and more. And so this is my local train crossing. I cross it every morning and evening, especially in morning. Uh, many, many trains cross this crossing, so I wait for a long time. The longer I wait, the more I get irri irritated. And one day, I found a nice idea. So the train is almost arrived on time, so I expected that the train reach the train will cross the crossing was must be regular. So after that, I went to the uh, train attendance room to ask about the timetable of train crossing. But they didn't tell me about it because the train crossing closed when it senses the train with train with its sensor. So they don't have schedule for the train crossing. I was disappointed, but I didn't give up. Next, I decided to make a timetable of train crossing by myself. And for two weeks, I sat down near the train crossing and researched it for 30 minutes. I, I recorded four important points. First is, when is the train crossing closed? And what time do trains come? And when is the train crossing open? And what types of train come there? And these things helped to make a timetable of the train crossing. And this is my research data. Um, I, I guess that many people will be surprised by this. And I will tell you more information. Uh, this is only for 20 seconds. And I researched 30 minutes. So uh, 30 minutes is equal to 1,800 seconds. So I make, make uh, it's big, big <laughs> analysis data. And I made a graph from the data. And I succeeded to make a timetable. It's a timetable of train crossing. And, and then let's start quiz. I will ask you some questions about train crossing in my town. And don't forget that uh, we will talk about the weekdays at 7.30 to 8 a.m. Okay, so question number one, how many times does it open? Number one, never open. Uh, two is five times and 10 times. Okay, number one, number two, number three. Okay, answer is 10 times. And next question is, how long does it take, does it stay open? 30 seconds, one minute, one minute and half. Number one, zero. Number two, ah, number three. <laughs> and answer is 30 seconds. <laughs> so number, uh, this is the last question. How many trains cross there? Num uh, 10 trains, 
twenty trains, thirty trains. Okay, number one, number two, number three. And answer is twenty uh, trains. And so I think we lost a lot of time in our life. I was successful to save time, but it it was only for a few minutes. Probably researching time takes longer than researching time. However, I don't think my research is useless because I got a lot of knowledge of mathematics, ge geography, and English as the process. I think to keep inquiring mind is most important things for us. Thank you for listening. <laughs>